Our spiritual practice idea this week is from Scott Alexander's collection, Everyday Spiritual Practices. The article by Art McDonald, Deborah Holder, and Stephen Furr is on the spiritual practice of social justice. It's an embodied spiritual practice, immersed in the world, enlisting all of our spiritual power in the service of social, cultural, and political transformation. Justice-making and spiritual wholeness go hand in hand, two sides of the same coin. Recognizing the systemic dimensions of oppression in modern life, religious life must begin in solidarity with the oppressed and must result in community. Justice building brings sacred encounters with other human beings. It's not just about service, but also change, both societal, institutional change and personal, psychological, spiritual change. Today's dominant, commercialized, and hypermobile monoculture increasingly celebrates manic individualism and overconsumption. Collective action and reflection provides a healing corrective and a powerful model of a justice-seeking community of resistance. We are not always effective or successful. We are not called to be successful, but to be faithful. Perseverance is a key part of our practice. Social justice as spiritual practice heals and rebuilds the community and reconnects with the whole. Ultimately, this is a hopeful spiritual practice filled with imagination and energy. For the full post about social justice as spiritual practice, see our site cucmatters.org. The link is in your e-communitarian. <laughs>